It's been four years since the gruesome murder of two Putnam County grandparents. Russell Derman was found beheaded inside his waterfront home. His wife Shirley's body was recovered from Lake Oconee. As the years pass, the number of questions continues to grow. Who committed this terrible crime and why? In tonight's 13 Investigates, Chelsea Bimefor talks with people close to the case. Putnam County Sheriff Howard Sills says he still thinks about it every day. Who would kill a well-loved couple in their late 80s? It's also something that Derman's former pastor says he's had a difficult time coping with and explaining to his congregation. I do know they're at peace. I have no question whatsoever of that. Empty seats inside Lake Oconee Community Church. Two of them will never be occupied again. And they were actually sitting in this location a week, the Sunday prior uh, to their murder. Pastor David Key says Russell and Shirley Derman were active members of his church. They were just one of those that were almost here every Sunday. That is until May of 2014 when they were brutally murdered. Mr. Derman found beheaded in the garage of their private lakefront home. Miss Derman found tied to cinder blocks at the bottom of Lake Oconee. It gives me no pleasure to uh, think about uh, the anniversary of this terrible crime. I went out to Lake Oconee with Putnam County Sheriff Howard Sills, who leads the investigation. It certainly bothers me still today as much as it did four years ago uh, because we've yet to solve this case. Sills calls it a perfect storm. It was just like everything kind of that could go wrong uh, did go wrong. Mr. Derman was dead for at least three days before anyone found his body. Miss Derman dead for around 10. No weapons or blood splatters left in the home and the neighborhood surveillance cameras were broken. Online, people have taken to message boards, blogs and podcasts, creating their own conspiracy theories about the couple. There's been no evidence at all whatsoever that uh, Mr. Ms. Derman had any criminal ties, much less uh, any mafia ties or anything like that. But it bores me. It, it, it's embarrassing to some extent that we, I mean, I realize that there are literally hundreds and hundreds of unsolved murders right here in middle Georgia. I know that, but they're not mine. They're not my responsibility. It's just a very difficult, difficult question to answer of why there's evil in the world. It's a question Sills can't answer either. Well, we can't find uh, an enemy they had in the world. So as time passes, Sills continues searching for a killer, and Pastor Key continues praying for a break in the case. There is this kind of lingering, unknowing, uncertainty that just kind of hangs. Uh, within the community and within all of our lives that were impacted. They continue to be, be a part of our community and our conversation. Sheriff Sills is asking anyone with information on this case to call the Putnam County Sheriff's Office at 706-485-8557. That number again is 706-485-8557. He says callers can remain anonymous and there's still a $25,000 reward available for information leading to an arrest. And for more information on the Durman murder case, including an interview with the couple's son, you can visit our website at 13WMAZ.com.